Tonight, more than a dozen people are hospitalized after an E. coli outbreak at a popular local Mexican restaurant. Today, the county health department confirmed at least 13 customers got sick after eating at Miguel's Cocina. New tonight, our Juliet Vara spoke with the parents of a boy who was in the hospital after getting severely ill, and she joins us live with those details. Juliet. Kathleen, we're talking about 13 cases total at this point. The youngest, six years old, the oldest, uh, 87 years old. The common denominator, they have all dined at uh, Miguel's Cocina there in Forest Ranch between October 6th and October 18th. And as you mentioned tonight, we did speak to the parents of a 14 year old boy here at Rady Children's Hospital who is braving this infection. I'm trying to be strong for my son so that he's not afraid. A mother in anguish, Rochelle Bird's 14 year old son fighting for his life at Rady Children's Hospital after getting diagnosed with E. coli. This after a night out with family dining at Miguel's Cocina in Forest Ranch. Just keep my son in your prayers and your thoughts and wish for the best. Yeah. The outbreak sending shockwaves throughout that community. The county confirming that 13 cases have been linked to that restaurant with seven people hospitalized. It's really hard to watch your kids suffer like that. On October 12th, Rochelle says her family dined at the restaurant. Two days later, her son, who ate carne asada that night, complained of a headache, then a fever, then excruciating diarrhea. Now he's on dialysis. By, I think, Saturday or Sunday, it was confirmed that his kidneys were starting to fail. His infection developed into a more severe complication called HUS. The county health department confirming these are cases of shiga toxin producing E. coli, or STAC, usually coming from beef products, unpassed pasteurized milk, juice, or produce. I just want people to know that if they're sick, if, they're, if they've been experiencing these symptoms and they feel like, oh, maybe it's the flu, just to be aware that it could be something more than the flu. On Tuesday, Miguel's Cucina closed. In a statement to Fox 5, the CEO saying, we take this incident very seriously, going on to say, we are working hand in hand with the county to find any potential source of E. coli at our facility or somewhere in our supply chain. It's hard to see your child like that. The health department tonight advising anybody who has eaten at that restaurant and maybe doesn't feel well to make sure to contact their doctor and get tested. Meanwhile, keep in mind that the incubation period is a couple of days up to 10 days, meaning that's how long it could take for symptoms to present. We're live tonight outside Rady Children's Hospital. I'm Julie Advara, Fox 5 News.